Team coverage continues now with an investigative angle. Who is Joseph James Pappas? We began with that simple question and we came away with several new details about this now wanted Houstonian. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum joining us live from our newsroom with what he has uncovered. Joel? Bill, our investigates team has been digging into this guy all day and what's clear to me is that Joseph James Pappas II dabbled in a lot of different things, including law enforcement. He's also had several side interests. This one in particular stands out. It's a business application to run a concealed handgun instruction academy. It seems Pappas had certain skills. He is now Houston's most wanted man, the prime suspect in the high-profile murder of Dr. Mark Houseconnect. There was a lot of planning that went into this. There's a lot of planning and, uh, sadly, some skill. 62-year-old Joseph James Pappas II may have learned how to use deadly force as a deputy constable working for both Harris County Precinct 2 and Precinct 7, first paid and later as a volunteer. Pappas held an armed peace officer's license for more than 30 years through 2013. Most recently, though, Pappas, unmarried with no kids, the guy friends called Joey, was living in the same Westbury area home where he grew up. The same home raided by police this morning. It's out of this well-kept home. Pappas runs a real estate brokerage. His neighbors reporting he's meticulous about his lawn. And although we could find no criminal convictions in his past, there was perhaps an inkling of trouble decades ago. In a 1986 lawsuit, Joseph Pappas II filed against an employer. Channel 2 investigates found in odd excerpt. Pappas characterized as a loose cannon, quote, barred from attending meetings because of various inappropriate activities. The big question now, though, where is he? Channel 2 investigates has learned that Pappas owns and is known to drive an old police car of Ford Crown Victoria, but wherever he is, he didn't take that car with him. Police found the retired police cruiser at his home. Live in the newsroom, Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.